Well, Cristiano Ronaldo and Nani may have missed out on the chance to play in the Euro 2012 final, but perhaps other countries could learn a lesson or two from the way they were educated as youngsters at the Sporting Lisbon Academy. One nation who could definitely benefit is England. And lining up for them in the under-19s European Championship, which begins in Estonia next week, will be central defender Eric Dyer, who's followed in the footsteps of Ronaldo, Nani, and let's not forget Luis Figo. Dyer joined the academy when he was just seven, and after a recent 18-month loan spell at Everton, he decided to return to Portugal, where he thinks he'll have a better chance of first-team football. Dyer has been telling world football's Manny Jasmi how Portugal and England compare when it comes to developing young players. Here the football's quicker, a bit more direct, I'd say. And in Portugal, obviously, it's slower, mainly down to the temperature. 90 minutes, it'd be hard to play at the speed that people play in England. They emphasise on different things, building from the back and passing out. And, you know, when you're young, you play in different positions and learn different positions and everything. I think Cristiano Ronaldo said that when he, at least when he began there, he was very unhappy because he was teased a lot for his uh, Madeiran accent. Um, what about you? I mean, did you have any difficulty settling in? Yeah, towards the beginning, it's always hard because um, you're an outsider, as you said, and Ronaldo not so much because he came from a Portuguese island, but me being English, I'm a much even bigger outsider than he was. And, um, you know, some people don't take to that. It was hard at the beginning when I was younger because obviously my Portuguese wasn't very good, so that was a weakness that they would like to exploit. But, you know, as I got older, my Portuguese got better. And, you know, so I'm fluent. And I, after a couple of years, I'm one of them. I know they like their nicknames in Portugal. What do they call you? No, I was just Eric. <laughs> Eric, you know, with a Portuguese accent. They couldn't figure out a nickname for me. <laughs> And what about your club future? Because you're going back to sporting this summer. But what lies after that for you? Sporting, obviously, there's big news in Portugal that they're going to have a B team now that is going to play in the championship like clubs in Spain do. So um, That would be the second division in se- Portugal? Yeah, yeah, second division in Portugal. And that my objective is to play in that after pre-season. I know that you've had offers from English clubs in the past, and big English clubs, Premier League clubs. Why haven't you taken any of those up? Why have you decided to stay predominantly in Portugal? It's where I felt that I could continue to get better and better and where I had an opportunity to break into Sporting's first team. Big clubs have big financial budgets, and if they want something for now, they'll buy it. Maybe they're not as patient to to see a player come through the academy because they, may, they may want something now instead of in two years or three years. And just finally, um, I'd love to get your thoughts on the English uh, FA reforming their youth development. Basically now, children won't be playing 11 aside until they're much older than they are at the moment. How does that compare with uh, your childhood growing up in Portugal? Until I was 11, 12, that's when we started playing 11 aside. Up until then, it was 7 aside. And obviously in Portugal, you play a lot of um, futsal which is five aside with uh, handball goals so they're smaller goals than even seven aside goals and you play a lot of that like you do in Brazil and with smaller spaces of less payers the emphasis is much more on your technical ability rather than your physical ability and I think at a younger age it's much more important that people concentrate on someone's technical ability because people grow at different times and some kids grow later than others and you've got to be patient. And what's your aims for your career? What kind of a career would you like to have? Where would you like to be? Uh, the dream career, I don't know. Um, ever since I was little, being in Portugal, I wanted to break into Sporting's first team and then after playing for Sporting, I'd love to play in the Premier League. To play for? <laughs> My United would be the dream, wouldn't it? The Sporting Lisbon and England under-19 defender Eric Dyer.